Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6-44, launching from Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We are now counting down just a couple of minutes till launch, waiting for SpaceX to begin their live launch coverage. We've been monitoring the weather as the T-0 has slipped a number of times over the course of the last couple of hours, but SpaceX has begun propellant load and is now locked into a launch attempt here tonight. Obviously, we're all counting down to Starship, and I just wanted to make note, we just had a tweet from Elon Musk stating that uh, Starship Flight 3 maybe tomorrow. They obviously are continuing to monitor those weather conditions and are going to see if they will be able to have a launch attempt tomorrow. If not, they will uh, have a backup opportunity the two following days, and we'll be, of course, keeping a close eye on that. The weather conditions down on uh, Starbase have basically fogged right in tonight, uh, and uh, we'll be hoping those clear off by early tomorrow for a launch attempt. But in the meantime, up until then, you're now looking at a live view of Launch Complex 39A at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where Booster 1062 is preparing to go for its 19th flight, tying up because one of the flight leaders having previously supported GPS-3 Space Vehicle 4, GPS-3 Space Vehicle 5, Inspiration 4, AX-1, Nilesat 301, OneWeb Launch 17, Arabsat Beta 8, and 11 previous Starlink missions. This one is a little special as this was the first flight that I ever got to see in person, so always exciting to see Booster 1062 back out at the pad. As we come down to 4 minutes, 10 seconds, and counting till launch. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at The Launchpad. And here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And if you haven't yet, take a moment. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. Share out the stream and invite people to join us. It is uh, a busy night. Everyone probably resting now so we can stay up all night and count down to starship as we continue to monitor those weather conditions but spacex keeps going they've got one more launch uh before then and that is in just about three and a half minutes time today's drone ship uh support ship is a short follow gravitas and it's stationed downrange in the atlantic ocean as propellant load is basically topping up now they have already begun engine chill of those nine merlin 1d engines on Falcon 9's first stage as well as strong back retract and the next major milestone we expect to hear will be when the computers take over control of Falcon 9 and begin to pressurize those tanks to flight level. Following that, the last call out will be the call from the launch director giving a final go no go at T minus 45 seconds. I'll be taking you through with, through with commentary all the way through booster landing. SpaceX no longer provides live, launch, uh, live coverage of Starlink deployment from their launches, so they'll be confirming that via social media. Starlink deployment expected to occur 1 hour, 5 minutes, 20 seconds into flight. As we come down to T-minus 2 minutes, 45 seconds, people tuning in from all over the world, great having you all here. I see Greenland, Germany, Toronto, Canada, Bogota, Colombia, McKinley, Texas. Uh, great to see you. Puerto Rico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Wisconsin, Virginia, UK, more Kansas. Great to see you all tuning in here live tonight. As we come down to the final 2 minutes, 23 seconds and counting here at the launch pad in that final 2 minutes, we always do a go no go poll with you in the chat. If you're a TLP member, you can get access to those custom TLP launch emotes in the YouTube chat. If not, just type go or no go in the chat there and we'll be taking you through launch commentary in just 2 minutes. Six seconds and counting. The weather is looking pretty decent down at the Cape. There was um, some percent chance of violation, but looks like they are uh, trying to thread that needle. Oh, and, right. and that was an abort called right there. T minus two minutes, three seconds, and they have called an abort on the count. We uh, don't have an update on why they've called that. We'll see if we get one, but as they had already begun propellant load, uh, it is uh, unlikely that we'll see them recycle here. It is possible, uh, as it's not an instantaneous launch window, but they do need to have enough period of time to do a full recycle. Um, and just like that, they've ended it. So, no recycle tonight. <laughs> All eyes go back to Starbase. Uh, and Starship, as we count down, T-minus 10 hours, 22 minutes, 6 seconds, and counting until the target launch time of Starship onto Flight 3. If you haven't yet, join us over on our 24-7 camera. It's a little foggy, but we're working to get that view cleared up as the fog clears. And you can, of course, count down to launch in that chat and over on our TLP Discord, which is free to join. The links are in the description there. While we uh, wrap it up here, I did want to also just bring 
Quick shout out to uh, our team. If you haven't yet, head on over to the Launchpad shop. Uh, we've got a couple of our rocket chasers down in Starbase, and they have been taking some absolutely, truly incredible uh, photography today. Head over to the IFT3 collection, get yourself some of the limited edition uh, merch there, but also check out some of the brand new photos coming in from Gavin and Josh out in the field and uh, pick one of those up to commemorate the incredible Flight 3. That's going to do it for us uh, here this evening, though. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. Docking, undocking, or return to Earth, and we will see you in just a few hours when we begin our live commentary coverage as we count down to, hopefully, the launch of Starship. We'll see you then.